Hello everyone, the Anthony S, you are not alone. Want to talk to you today about not getting everything done in the time that you want to get it done. This will happen. You will be frustrated. I guarantee you, it's no big deal. You will fall short once in a while, especially when you start pushing harder and harder and harder on your dreams or your goals. My example, I found out that transcribing this podcast for Facebook was one of those last little things that put me over the edge in terms of the amount of work I had to do every day. It didn't seem like that big a deal. It takes me maybe 15, 20 minutes. Part of it's because I don't like the work. Part of it's because it's not getting traction yet, and that's okay. I think an overall large portion of it is I just don't like to type as much as I like to get on camera or make a podcast. I know myself enough to say that I enjoy audio and video much more than written in terms of me creating content for myself. I think in the long run, the transcribing will help me, and I'm going to continue to do it for the overall business and my goals in terms of creating a community, but it is not something I enjoy. And for some people in certain tasks, it is better to just remove the task. If you enjoy most of your day, but then hate one little portion, and it sucks to get through that one part, you will begin to despise that part of the day. It is extremely similar to when people go to work on Monday. They hate Mondays, they praise Fridays, because they get to do anything else besides work on Saturday and Sunday. I could not imagine being like that, where I spend two days of my week enjoying my life and the other five hating it, or at least a portion of the day. I still don't know if I'm going to continue to transcribe. I would like to. Because I, I like how it set ups for my overall strategy. But at some point you got to accept that you just don't like to do something. And it's in inhibiting the rest of your work. My advice is someone else in this situation. Whether it's a job, a relationship, a hobby... If it's something that you don't like to do, and it's not directly correlated to responsibilities that need to happen, or not correlated to making a large impact in your goals overall. For example, if you want to dance, you have to practice dancing. You can't just get up there and dance on stage. Or you could, but it might not be as good as if you actually practiced a bit. For me, it's the transcribing. I think it'll benefit me to do it every day, and for that reason I'm going to stick with it, because I believe in that hard work, but it's not something that is absolutely needed. In fact, at some point I can guarantee you I will pay someone else to transcribe for me. That's a given. Either got to figure out to if you need it. If you have a responsibility that requires that task, do it. If not, let it go. This is the Anthony S. You are not alone. I'll talk to you all soon.